Hello, everyone. I was given a bunch of questions about Ask a Priest from the second graders. And so I'm going to go through them now. I think Father Brian has answered a bunch of them already. So I'm just going to take the ones that Father Brian hasn't answered. And I'm going to try to answer them to make sense, okay? All right, here we go. This is from Landon Boyer. Landon, you ask, um, how long did it take you to study to become a priest? Okay, for the most part, uh, generally it takes um, going through high school. Then after high school, it takes four years of college. And then after four years of college, it takes another four years of what we call theology school, where you learn religion in a really serious way. And um, then you can get ordained. So it's after, after eighth grade, it takes another, what is that, 12 years? Yeah, it takes another 12 years. So that's, that's that question for you. But you can do it if you wanted to. It goes, time goes by fast. Uh, uh, let's see, this is from Rory Arnold. Rory says, what school did you go to? So I'm assuming you're meaning grade school. I grew up a bluebird. You remember what that is? That's a St. Mary's bluebird. But uh, I've become a bobcat since I've moved to St. Vincent's. So St. Mary's was across town over at the Cathedral Parish. That's where I grew up. That's where I went to grade school. And then I went on to Notre Dame and uh, became a bulldog out there at high school. Um, let's see. Here's something from Kate Mills. Uh, do you drink soda or water? Water. Love water. Love water. You can't get enough water. Uh, I love water, especially when you run it through some coffee beans and it becomes like a coffee drink. Not like a coffee drink. It becomes a coffee drink. That's the best type of water. But I like just plain water, too. All right. Uh, it's from Jackson Miller. Um... He asked a couple questions that Father Brian didn't answer here. It's kind of kind of deep. Uh, why am I sinful? You know, that's a good question. Why am I sinful? I ask myself that every time that I make um, a sinful action towards someone or somebody. I say, why am I so sinful? I think it's just because of, of our free will that we have. We have the ability to choose many different things. God wants us to choose the good, but then there's sometimes we choose the bad. Um, and that's just one of those things we have to fight with for the rest of our lives. But God is always with us to help us to choose the good. Um, and why do you want to be a priest? That's another question Jackson asks. Why do you want to be a priest? I think it's a, exactly to explain why we can choose to um, be a saint rather than being a sinner. I think it's explaining that to, uh, to you all and to other people. Uh, it's one of the things I like to do is to present all of those options to, uh, to everyone, young and old, and to show how God is there to uh, help us to choose the right, the right option. Uh, this is from Gino. Gino, Gino, I just want to explain to you, I am a boomer. I am a baby boomer. So a uh, baby boomer is someone who's born up to 1964. And I was born in 1963, May 26, 1963. But who's counting? This is May the 10th. It's only 16 days away. Um... That does not make me 70 years old. Okay? It says, are any of you 70 years old? No. All right. Good job, Gino. Surprised you knew about baby boomers yourself. Anyway. Uh, Rhea. Rhea says, what's your favorite sport? <sighs> you used to like to play racquetball a long time ago. Um... 
I like to get out and go hiking now. I like to get out and go walking. Just kind of going on a trail. It's kind of a nice sport to do. Uh, what's your favorite food? Well, it depends on the day. It depends on what's what's in front of me, you know. Uh, do I like dessert? Yes. And yes. Uh, let's see. This is from Anna. Anna Kern. How many years have you been a priest? Well, thank you for asking that. I have been a priest now for 30 years. We just celebrated it right before the the coronavirus made us stay at home. Uh, that last weekend that we had before everybody was dismissed was a little celebration that you all as, as a parish had uh, for my 30th anniversary of priesthood. So uh, thank you very much. Um, you ask how old are we both? I think Brian, Father Brian told you how, how old he was. I am 56, but on May the 26th, I think that's 16 days away. I'm going to be 57. Colton Kiefer. You say, what do you do all day? <laughs> it's a good question, Colton. It depends on the day. It depends on the day. You can shadow me one of these days. You can see everything that I do. How much does a priest make? How much money does a priest make? Uh, we make enough. It's not a lot, but I mean, God takes care of the rest, you know, so. Um, we make less than a uh, school teacher does, I'll tell you that. I just went through and signed all of the, the school teachers' contracts, you know, the ones that are going to be, that are teaching you all. I make a lot less than they do. But, um, you know, God takes care of me. God takes care of Father Brian. We're okay. Mr. Parker, you ask, what do you do after church? I usually go home and either read the paper or watch the news. Or if I'm hungry, I usually fix something to eat. Or if I've got something that I need to do, I usually go out and do it. Or I usually go to the parish office and see what's waiting for me over there. It just depends on the day and... Um, the day that I'm having church. Uh, do you pray at another church? Uh, this is my main church I pray at. I do help out at some other places to um, help some other priests from time to time. Lila. Lila says, are you bored from being at home all the time? No. I am not bored. I pray to be bored, if that makes sense. You'll learn that later on. Do most people pray the rosary with four mysteries? Yeah, they do. Most people pray the rosary with four mysteries. There's the traditional mysteries of the uh, joyful mysteries, the sorrowful mysteries, and the glorious mysteries. And then St. John Paul II gave us the luminous mysteries. So each of those mysteries, they're divided up into various days during the week. And uh, we pray those. My favorite mysteries of the rosary, though, are the sorrowful ones. I like praying the sorrowful mysteries. Thank you, Layla. Jack Hussman, Mr. Hussman, he asks, When are we going back to church? Good question, Jack. That's the million-dollar question. I hope it's soon. I hope it's soon and very soon. And when will we have First Communion? Well, we're making plans on that. I've talked to Mrs. Rains and uh, Mr. Lewis and Father Brian about that, and I think we've got some couple of we got a couple options that we're planning. How old is Father Rick? I just told you that. There you go. Fifty-seven. I'll be fifty-seven on May twenty-six. It's ten days. No, it's sixteen days away. But who's counting? Sawyer, when were you born? May 26, 1963. When did you become a priest? March 24th, 1990. When did you graduate from college? 
That's a good one. Um, I graduated from college. It was in May. And it was in 1985. Don't know the date. Uh, let's see. This is from Laurel. Do you have any pets? Squirrels and birds. Owen Barr. Do you have a brother? You know, I do have a brother. He's, unfortunately, God love him, he died uh, probably about maybe, mm, maybe about eight years ago. Uh, he was 62 when he died, so he would be 70 now. He had a really bad uh, cancer, and uh, unfortunately, uh, he was not able to live through it, so he died. His name was Terry, Terry Lee Jones. I am Ricky Lee Jones, and uh, I have a sister. She lives in town. Her name is Sherry Fimler. That's her mate. That's her. That's her. The name she married into, Fimler. And um, so her her middle name is Sherry Ann. She was Sherry Ann Jones when she was growing up. Where did you go to school? Um, well, Owen, I went to a variety of different schools. I went to um, for my first about six years. I went to Jefferson public school. It was really close to where I grew up. So Jefferson is here in town. It's down on Minnesota Street. And then in sixth grade, I transferred over to St. Mary's uh, Cathedral, grade school. Went there for sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Then went to Notre Dame Regional High School. Graduated from there in 1981. Went to Conception Seminary College. It's a college seminary up in Northwest Missouri. Graduated in May of 1985. Went to Kenrick Theological Seminary. Graduated from there in 89 and then was ordained a priest. And then later on, I went to uh, Aquinas Institute of Theology. I got another master's degree. And then I uh, went also to uh, get a counseling degree out in Albuquerque, New Mexico, at the University of New Mexico. And so I got a master's degree in counseling there. So those are the, all the schools that I have gone to. Uh, do you like to have fun? No, no fun. No fun at all. I don't have any fun. Never, ever, ever have any fun. Ever. No fun. Ever. Maybe just a little. Just a little fun. Elliot Vineyard. Mr. Vineyard, you ask, do pets or any animals go to heaven? That's a big question. Um, the church traditionally would say no, because in order to make it to heaven, you have to have a soul. And souls are only given to those that are able to make free judgment like human beings. But I'd like to think that maybe uh, because of our association with these uh, pets, these animals, that maybe somehow they uh, might have some kind of a filial attraction to us. And so by us going to heaven, maybe uh, we might see how they go to heaven too. But I, that's not the official teaching of the church. But that's just kind of how I think about it. I think St. Francis of Assisi would, would agree with me. I think St. Philip Neri, uh, a good patron saint of mine. Do you know when St. Philip's uh, feast day is? It's my birthday, May the 26th, 1963. I think that's 16 days away. St. Philip's, St. Philip Neri's feast day is a pet lover. Pet lover, he had a dog. Thanks, Elliot. Lucas, are you guys doing well? Yes, we're doing well. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing okay. Is your job hard? Well, some days are really tough. 
there are some days that are very difficult, like when you have to deal with um, something tough that happens that really hurts a family. That's a tough thing to try to do, try to bring comfort to families that are really suffering. That can be a that can be a hard job. But for the most part, being a priest is is a delight, and I hope you, uh, Lucas, would think about that, and maybe uh, you also would want to be a priest. Okay, thank you, Lucas. Emma, do you have any pets? Squirrels, birds. What do you do for fun? We don't have any fun. No fun. No fun. This is from Gavin Stigemeyer. Do you miss us being in church at Mass? Yes, I do. It's just not the same. It's just not the same. Wish you guys were at church. And I'm doing okay. You ask, how am I doing? And I say, I'm doing okay. Um, and yeah, it would be nice to meet for ice cream when this is all over. I'll go for that. Father Brian probably didn't say that, did he? Yeah, I think he likes ice cream a lot. We didn't have ice cream in the house until he came along. And now there's always some ice cream in the rectory freezer. Uh, Layla. Layla Garretson, how often do you see your family? I see my family quite often. Like I said, my sister lives in town. My uh, several aunts live in town. Um, got some cousins that live in town, so I get to see a lot of them. See them quite often. When will we make our first communion? Hopefully very soon. I think I've talked to you about that. What are your hobbies? Uh, some of my hobbies are uh, feeding my squirrels and birds. And then also, I've uh, got a little garden in the back of the rectory. I kind of take care of it. I like doing some of that. I like going out for a nice walk. That's good. Let's see. Jack Herndon. What year was our church built in? I think your church was built in 1976. Because I was going to... Um, High school across the street at old Notre Dame and I remember when the church was being built I think I would have been like a freshman maybe a sophomore at the time so uh, I think that's when our church was built 1976 Mackenzie Johnson when did you know you wanted to become a priest well, I had an idea when I was in grade school, probably about maybe in fifth or sixth grade, I kind of had this crazy idea about maybe becoming a priest. And so I started asking some priests about how to do it, uh, how to become a priest. And so I started kind of uh, developing that relationship with uh, some priests and some religious sisters, and they helped me to uh, make some good decisions. So how was I would have been about maybe 10, 10 or 11. 10, 11, or 12, somewhere around there. That's how old I was. Uh, do you have any siblings? Yeah, I, I was mentioning my brother and my, my sister, but that's it, just the three of us. That's all there was. Reese Miller. What is your favorite food? You know, I, I, I dislike all kinds of food. I don't know if I have a favorite food. Uh, I like hot dogs. Does that make sense? French fries, lots of salt. What is your favorite animal? You know, I think cats are fun. I think cats are fun. I like dogs too. When I was growing up, we had dogs. They were my favorite animal. I had cows too, but that was a different story. Um, so my dad was trying to play farmer. So we uh, had a farm across the river in Illinois. We had cows. 
Bad story. Bad stories. Xander. You ask those same questions. What do you... What do you play for fun? Xander, we don't have fun. No other fun. No fun. None. Nada. Just a little. Just a little. Mackenzie. How old did you... How old were you when you became a priest? I think I was 26. That's, when, that's how old I was. It's your favorite color. I think these days it's green. My favorite color is green. It used to be blue. Blue J Blue. But now, since I'm pastor of St. Vincent's, it's St. Vincent's green. It's my favorite color. Last one, Nicholas Reynolds. Hmm. When will our first communion be? Hopefully very soon. We're, we're making some plans for that. And hopefully we'll be able to celebrate that either as a big group or as individual groups. And it'll be, it'll be sometime um, probably in June or July uh, very soon. But probably at the beginning of next school year, we'll come back and we'll celebrate with you all as a class because you uh, didn't get to celebrate as a big class. We'll make... The beginning of, of third grade, we're going to make sure that we have a lot of fun with that, okay? We'll have a little bit of fun. Just a little bit of fun. Not a lot of fun, just a little. Sorry about that. Is anything happening on the new rectory? Yeah, um, we're getting things together. And we are... Um, uh, you should be able to see some, some things coming about real soon. Kind of put things on hold because of what was happening with the coronavirus and all of that. But things are moving on, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, see how some things are really uh, making a difference. And uh, you'll be able to see something really happening there over the next uh, few weeks. All right. God bless you. Uh, help you have a good Mother's Day. This is Mother's Day, remember. So make sure you take care of your moms. It's a very, very special thing to do, having your mom and to take care of her. And so let's, let's conclude this by praying that beautiful prayer to our mother, to Mary, okay? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.